What's up, everybody? Turbo Man 351 here. I hope you're staying safe. All right, guys, here's a rack and pinion video for you Fox body guys out there. All right, here we go. Boom. I got this one here, obviously, from eBay. Okay, has offset bushings to put the rack just tilt a little bit lower if you have a front deep sump oil pan. Um, I didn't put this in yet because I was sketchy because it's eBay, right? So I don't know if these work really good, but this thing is all set up. It's ready to go. It looks fine. I'm going to put this on my full tilt race car. I have over there the blue one. If you guys haven't seen that one yet, that has a full out race car, dude. And um, so I took the one off of that. This is the one that's on my turbo car that you guys are familiar with. It is just shot to all get out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, leaks everywhere, dude, like a fizz, just horrible. Now, when you take these off, I like to take these off, okay, these fittings and these lines here, because they're hard to find in a junkyard if you need one, right? So, on the race car that I have in my other shop, it had a rack in it. I took it out, and I put it in here instead, okay? The alignment on that was absolutely perfect. So I didn't change anything with the bushings. I just popped it right in. Now, word of advice. These bushings down here, if you go with like a really good new bushing from Energy Suspension, okay, they're kind of really, they're tough and hard, which is good because that keeps the rack planted and still from swaying back and forth under hard turning and so forth. I didn't put those in because they're very hard to get the rack on when you have those on there. You got to not modify, but do some massaging of the stud that this slides on at the end of the stud you gotta like taper the end of it so it doesn't dig into the new bushing and that's why this wasn't going on and i just went back to the regular bushings which were new that came in that new rack over there but i had new ones on standby anyway for that day so we're gonna put this one here in the race car out there and see how that goes now when they come they come pre-lined you can see how it was marked with a paint marker here to let you know that it's already preset. So when you put it in a car, you just put it in just like this, okay? Don't move it or nothing because you can see that from here to here, you know, the geometry and how much you can turn left and right is centered, okay? Because you don't want to have someone turn it and then you put it in and then you try to turn this way, you can't go anywhere, okay? You know what I mean by that, all right? So we got that going. And it was a very easy install. I didn't have to film that. I didn't think. Uh, it went pretty easy. Okay. I mean, yeah, real easy. All right. Now, I might go get a brand new one. I'm not sure yet. I'm waiting to get my engine put back together because I got those AFR heads. I got pistons to go with the heads because it has that bigger valve in it. And it has a double relief valve cut out in the DSS pistons, which is pretty cool. And so I just thought I'd share that video with you guys on the rack and pinion. Now, there's a lot of them want you to do the core return so it can be a lot cheaper. So always keep your core. Don't just toss away the old one. Keep it. Always keep your stuff, dude. Especially stuff that's in a Fox body that's 30 years old. Keep everything, man. All right. So that's it for that. Um, just keep me guys up to date and making some videos. All right, guys. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace.